Hello and welcome to Pre Fresh Perspectives. My name is Gail and uh, my guest today is somebody that was on a few weeks back, uh, Randy Burt, who is uh, one of the crew members here at the Channel 5 studio. And he's here today uh, to talk about his travels to Hawaii. Happy New Year, Randy. Hey, happy New Year. It's hard to believe it's already 2018. But I know. It goes fast. It's I know. Like. The, uh, 2017, it seems like the older I get, the faster time flies. Oh, and yeah. It's like this was the fastest year I ever remember It does go fast. And, yeah. But I uh, had a good celebration, and mm -hmm. we're still here. Everybody, you know, sometimes like Y2K, they thought the end of the world was coming, <laughs> but... Every year or at least that we that. weren't going to have any electricity oh, yeah, or anything. Yeah. We're, yeah. we're still here. We got cameras. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Okay, Justin, crank it a little more. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay. Um, now, uh, why are we doing an entire program on Hawaii? Um, uh, apparently, that must have been your favorite place um, to visit. Sort of. <laughs> sort of. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, Went to Hawaii, 10 different trips. Wow, that's a lot. <laughs> I started in the United States and I got bored and I got to go farther and took my dad to Hawaii. And um, after that, it was like I just kept going back and again and again and again mm -hmm. until I couldn't afford it anymore. Okay, tell our viewing audience where Hawaii is. Hawaii? Um, it's in the Pacific Ocean. It's, uh, I'm going to say, southwest of California. Um, usually to fly to Hawaii, you got to first get to a major airport. You go to Buffalo, fly to Chicago. If you're lucky, you could go eight hours to Honolulu, or you get to stop at the West Coast. But from Buffalo to Hawaii, it's uh, like 4,682 miles. And... Um, you can't get there by a car. No, no. Uh, uh, you have to cross some part of the ocean to get and there. I yeah. Think going is longer than coming back with a jet stream. Mm -hmm. I think the jet stream coming back gives you a kick. And oh yeah, yeah. It cuts the time down, but it's almost two hours to Chicago. From Chicago, you could get on the eight-hour flight which is a long time on an airplane, just sitting in a seat with people on both sides of you, maybe. <laughs> if you're lucky, you get a window seat. Um, they used to feed you, had a menu. Um, nowadays, it's probably a bag of peanuts and a half a can of soda. Oh. But, uh, so um, that's how you get there. Um, yeah, I got some pictures here showing. Okay. Um, we're going to start out with, uh, this is the first, plane I went. This was a DC-10 American Airlines. This was from Chicago to uh, Honolulu, I think, and uh, I took my dad and covered. We flew from Buffalo into Chicago in an MD-80, which is a smaller plane, and it's straight up, straight down, and he, he hated it. He just absolutely he was scared to death of takeoffs and landings, but so we got on the big plane, which is much nicer. You got a lot more room and a lot more people. And uh, we did our flight, but we uh, we broke it down into going to California for a couple of days before Hawaii. I took them out to Universal Studios and uh, took them to the Price is Right TV show. And I think he got a kick out of it. So uh, we have some pictures of this is what this is um, coming into Hawaii. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure if that's Diamond Head. I don't think so. Hawaii has several volcanoes on it. and um, So when you're coming in, this is Waikiki Beach. You will fly by Waikiki, circle over Pearl Harbor, and then the airport's right, at, uh, right next to Pearl Harbor. This is an aerial view of Waikiki Beach. And... Um, it's a protected area. Mm -hmm. If you can look down there, uh, there's a lot of coral. I think that's the dark you'll see, but coral will cut you really bad. And it comes with like eels and all that good stuff, but lots of tropical fish there. 
Now, do those eels uh, give you an electrical shock? Nope, nope. They're no. more eels. They'll bite you. they got big teeth. They've got big teeth. And they'll grab onto you, and they won't let go if you get just right. I mean, you have to have them, they say, surgically removed. But oh, my gosh. I know gosh. people that have uh, been bit by them, and, you know, they've just been bit by them. They haven't had to have them surgically removed, but they can get up to, like, six feet long. Uh, do they suck your blood like leeches no, do? No, I think no? they just bite you. Just, they just bite. They're really, they're, they're cool to see when you get down there and start scuba diving with them and playing, mm -hmm. but... Mm -hmm. um, Were those all of the pictures? This is oh, one of, okay. this is Diamond Head. This isn't flying in. This is uh, out of a helicopter. Uh -huh. But Diamond Head, this year I was, the first year when I did this, uh, it was really dry, so Diamond Head wasn't green, but... Usually it'll have growth on it. Oh, okay. And if you can look way in the back there, um, there's a couple more mountains. Like uh, back of that one is a place we'll talk to in a little bit about. Uh, it's called Hanama Bay. Uh -huh. Hanama Bay is um, what really got my uh, urge to want to keep going back to Hawaii. And um, right between Diamond Head and Hanama Bay is where um, it, people know Tom Selleck, the movie star. Oh, yeah. He had a house right there. Oh, oh, of his own. Yeah, he had his own house right there on the ocean. He'd go by there on the bus or, like, if you were taking a car or a van, the road went right by there. Uh-huh. Well, he had to live there, didn't he? he yeah, that was for, where they did his television program? Yeah, he, or, uh, he did a Magnum P.I. Yeah, yeah, that was In it. In fact, yeah. my uh, scuba diving teacher over there <laughs> had his full gear on one day off um, Ella Moana Beach and turned and just about knocked him on his, <laughs> on his butt there. Because <laughs> when you turn with a big tank on your back, it's like some <laughs> momentum. Oh, yeah. So yeah. He, uh, he had a crash with him. One of, so. Okay. Oh, here's, I'm sorry, here's a little more. You uh -huh. got the clouds. Now you can see where Diamond Head is on the bottom of the picture. It's right next to Waikiki. Waikiki's all the little buildings. Okay. And in between there is like uh, the Honolulu Zoo, the aquarium, and we're going to talk about the Kodak Hula Show. They're in that sort of area just to the right of the town. And Waikiki is probably one of the most famous beaches. Now you can actually go in uh, Diamond Head Volcano. Uh, my dad was afraid to death of heights, so he wouldn't go even though... You don't go driving up over it. There's actually a tunnel you can get in there. Oh. Uh, people hike it. Um, mm. If you get on top of that for sunrise or sunset, you're doing really good because that's got a view of forever. Mm -hmm. But it's inactive now. Oh, good. Yeah. <laughs> Not a good place to put a volcano <laughs> right next to a, the big cities. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, still, I would think it might uh, be kind of scary, oh, you know, yeah, even if it's, know. if it's inactive, it you can, know. It can so. go anytime. Hawaii is made from volcanoes. There's right. On, like yeah. the other islands, there's Kilauea. That's always erupting. Oh, gosh. So, and it makes the land bigger. So Hawaii's, I guess, the biggest state or something that just keeps getting bigger and bigger because of the lava building up in the ocean, mm -hmm. making more land. Now, um, what was your experience of Hawaii okay. after uh, when you arrived the first time? Oh, getting off the plane. Even <laughs> though the first time we only flew from L.A. to Honolulu, five, six hours. When you get off the plane in Hawaii after eight hours of sitting on a plane, it's just, you get off, you're in the airport with all the other people. You can't believe how many people one of them planes can hold. And... Uh, First thing you're going to notice in Hawaii, oh, well, the warmth. It's warm there all the time. It could be 80 degrees at 8 o'clock in the morning. Mm -hmm. and uh, But the smell of uh, flowers. Um, at the airport, you can buy or they'll, if you're on a package tour, they give you the flower lay. Oh, yeah. And yeah. they're real flowers. They're not the fake ones you're going to buy in the store with made out of recycled pop bottles or whatever. <laughs> So the smell of Hawaii is, um, it's just got the smell to it. And um, I know first thing I did when I like get out there is you run a car. The first time I run in a car, I was like, where do you go? <laughs> Tried to just get out of the airport. It was uh, quite the experience. 
Um, now, when did Hawaii <coughs> become a state? I'm told it was August 21st, 1959. I th yeah, uh, that sounds about right, because I know I was, it was after I had been born, yeah, quite a while like after, two. so... Uh, so it actually has not been a state for very long. No, I, I don't know what it was before, just the islands. Um, one thing they don't like you over there to say is, where are you from? Well, oh, I'm from the United States. No, we're United States too. You're from the mainland. The mainland. The mainland. Yeah. Don't say you're from the United States because it's also uh, or the you United can, States. Or you can say uh, which state that you're from or yeah, something. Yeah, something like that. But yeah. don't go saying, I'm from the United States because they're going to get really upset at you. <laughs> It's like, because no, they are no, part no. of it. Yeah, because they're American too. So how many islands make up uh, the state of Hawaii? Well, I think they have like eight main islands. I've been to uh, a few of them on a one-day island hop. Um, the big island of Hawaii is the largest island. It's mm -hmm. um, south of Oahu. Uh, I think they grow macadamia nuts. Um, I think that's where the volcano is, Kilauea. Mm -hmm. And that's probably, it's got to be at least twice the size of Oahu. Now, Oahu is um, probably a lot of people's first destination. You have Pearl Harbor, Waikiki mm -hmm. Beach, um, mm -hmm. and all the stuff you've heard about all your life. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, Pearl Harbor has historical significance. Do yeah, you, you want to mention 76 that? 76 years ago, the Japanese bombed Pearl Harbor. 76 years 76 ago? 76 years ago. Was that ago, how long uh, ago it was? About a few weeks ago. It was on December 7th. December 7th? So it's been about a month now. And um, they bombed Pearl Harbor. And um, nowadays you would go there. They have a visitor center. Mm -hmm. And you watch a movie. Mm -hmm. It's peaceful there. I mean, it's real pretty. It's that. The one area outside of visitor center is not really that big. But... Uh, you look out, you can see this uh, white thing, which I didn't get a picture of, which is the Arizona Memorial. The Arizona is a ship that's got probably still 2,000 people entombed in it that oh. was hit. And oh, I think yeah. it was a direct hit down the smokestack or something, and it went right down. So they made that into a memorial. Um, before you go out there, oh, they'll show a movie on the bombing of Pearl Harbor. Mm -hmm. The museum's got pictures, and I tell you, just being in there and seeing it, thinking you're there, but I think what was really weird was I saw these really, really old Japanese gentlemen, you know, because mm -hmm. Japanese come to it, too, and mm -hmm. uh, you, you wonder, are they some of the pilots? Oh, gosh. Uh, you don't yeah. know. And, yeah, um, you don't know. So you see this violent movie on how Pearl Harbor was attacked, and then you go out to the memorial. Well, on the memorial, you get off the boat. It's just a couple-minute boat right out, and uh, you can actually see where the top of the boat is and there's still oil dripping out of it after all oh. these years it still leaks out um and they have in the back of the memorial they get uh, all the names of the s sailors that were on the boat and um it was really weird i think we have some pictures of pearl or i'm uh, not yet okay we're gonna go down a little i got pearl harbor down here a little ways more so oh okay We'll do that when we get there. Um, <clears throat> okay, um, Oahu is the um, largest and most famous. Oahu's thing. the most famous. Uh, the Big Island's the largest, but Oahu is. Oh, Hawaii uh, is. The Oahu's biggest. got Honolulu, and mm -hmm. and the amazing thing about it is you're way out, you know, thousands of miles from anywhere, and they how they got everything there for the buildings, the cars, uh, mm -hmm. all the construction, all the food, everything's there. And mm -hmm. How they started with an empty island and was able to build it up like a big city. I think we just had a picture there, but I missed it. And, uh -oh. um, so see. we'll hang on to there. Um, okay, <coughs> for uh, somebody visiting Hawaii for the first time, um, what would what would you want them to see? Well, I'm hoping it's still there. It might have a different name, but they had the Kodak Kula show. Mm -hmm. This is where you're going to see your oh yeah stuff you would see on TV. You know, making it look like it's all Hawaii, mm -hmm. where you have the dancers and the mm -hmm. grass skirts, and they tell the story. And um, so 
You'd go to the Hula Show, which is just down a little at Waikiki Beach. And um, it was a beautiful day the time I was there. I think I'd been maybe two times. And they sing, they play their sing dance and just make it look like the old Hawaii that you would see on TV. Oh, yeah. Yeah, those are some beautiful pictures. So you just sit in stands and watch the show. and I don't even remember if there was even a cost to it back then. I think Kodak picked up the cost. Oh. Like as mm -hmm. a sponsor. Oh, yeah. Um, <clears throat> there was a glass bottom boat ride too that if you want to see the ocean you get on this was the Anna Anna mm -hmm. it goes out offshore off of Waikiki uh, more down a little towards between Pearl Harbor and Waikiki um, they'll have a diver as you can see coming back up she went down and could go under where you could see her and she would feed the fish so you can see all the different fish you know their fish over there are amazing they're so colorful mm -hmm. and um, I when I saw her diving, it's like, I never could do that, but it's also sitting in the harbor there. But if you see that really weird looking outrigger boat there, mm -hmm. Chris, can you bring that back for a minute? That one with the yellow sails? Yeah. I'm not positive if that's one, but that was the first time I dove in Hawaii. We had to jump off the side of one of them. Mm -hmm. And I, it could be that boat right there. Uh, and I thought I was gonna die. It was like six feet to the water, your first time jumping in the ocean with full scuba gear, but mm -hmm. it turned out really interesting. I kept up with the hobby. Yeah, um, now these glass bottom boats, um, were you able to walk <laughs> on the glass? I don't think you could walk in a glass. You sat around it. Oh, and I open see, area. okay. They but have them in different places. I've seen them in Florida. And yeah. But it, it, Hawaii, the bottom is so clear. You can see way over 100 feet just about anywhere in Hawaii when you're in the ocean. So if it's 100 feet down to like when we scuba dive to, a, I'll talk about a shipwreck, mm -hmm. you can see it as soon as you mm -hmm. hit the water. Hmm. Um, okay, did we see all of the I think we saw boat those. ones? Okay, um, <coughs> is, is it expensive to visit Hawaii? Oh yeah, it's I think one of the second most expensive places to go to in the United States. I think Alaska. I think it was Anchorage, Alaska or something was rated more expensive. Oh, oh is but that right? back then I didn't think about it because, you know, you're taking your vacation. Uh -huh. and motels weren't bad. I mean, I priced motels in Jamestown at $230 a night for mm -hmm. just a motel in Jamestown. I stayed in some really nice hotels. I mean, some of the better ones back then were started out at 50 uh, Probably the last time I was there was up to 90 and maybe a little more. Mm -hmm. But they had a price range of cheap to expensive, and um, you're right, the one I stayed at several times, the Outrigger Reef was right on the ocean, walk mm -hmm. out the back and there's the ocean. I stayed there a few times, I stayed there on my honeymoon. Um, I never knew at this motel that we had a snack bar in the basement, because I was paranoid of motel prices for food. Oh. Turns out, um, when I got married, we went over and... Uh, Oh, is that where you had your honeymoon? Yeah, we mm -hmm. uh, actually ate at that motel a breakfast buffet for under $10, and it was like, wow. And then later on, I took Chris over, and uh, he was like, just before he turned two. Mm -hmm. And I had to set him on one side of the restaurant while I went over to the buffet to get the food. Oh. And he kept saying, Daddy, Daddy. I go, as long as I know he's saying Daddy, I know he's okay. <laughs> All of a sudden, he quit talking. Uh. It's like, uh-oh, I better look. Well, the waitress had given him his drink, so he shut up. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm like, uh-oh. You know, you're alone over there in Hawaii with a two-year-old you're waiting for, and you're worried about kidnapping. Chris, <laughs> Chris was really short, chubby, and back then he was real happy, so Japanese just loved him. They'd oh, never did seen they? anything like him before. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> like now, uh, do you need to rent a car um, when you're in Hawaii? You don't need a car. Cars are more of a pain. The streets are all one-way streets. You can do both right and left and red there. Um, um, even the people that live there have a hard time. The When you go on a tour, the vans come to your hotels and pick you up, and they get confused just trying to go from one hotel to the other to pick up the people. So the bus 
it was back then it was like 60 cents to go one way on a bus mm -hmm. uh, buck 20 to go around the whole island 104 miles or whatever it is so mm -hmm. I would highly if you want to drive around the island one day rent a car but don't run it for the whole time you're there because you don't need it mm -hmm. okay uh, tell us about um, the hotels <laughs> Oh, they got plenty of hotels. There are any little small hotels to, uh, I think I stayed in a 36-story skyscraper hotel a couple times. Uh, it was really nice. It was new, but the fire alarm kept going off. Oh, it's sort of scary, you know, when you're up there. I think we are like on a 26th floor. Oh, gosh. That stupid fire alarm would keep going off all the time, but they said, it, no, no problem. So, okay. But uh, that hotel sat back two blocks from the beach. Um, stayed at the Outrigger Reef a few times so when I was talking about that. Was walk out there on the beach. Um, there was a place called Fort Narusi right next to it. The tall hotel I sat one time in the window and watched the first President Bush, George oh. Sr. Um, they were having a summit at Fort Narusi. Now the helicopters would fly in and take off. Well, I had Chris's mom and Chris and me and we were uh, stuck in a bus in traffic while they brought him through. Mm -hmm. But some of them they would bring in the helicopter. So they had a smaller hotel next to ours. And you could watch the helicopters take off and go mm -hmm. out over the ocean. It was sort of interesting. Mm -hmm. But uh, the hotels, I know um, my ma and dad, well, when I took them one time, we had two rooms. And one of us ended up with uh, uh, whatever the Hawaiian flowers I can't think of right now. and. Hibiscus flowers? I, I think so. And she, my mom thought it was fake all week. Uh -huh. I finally realized it needed water. <laughs> and I think we got like a fruit basket or something in our room. Oh. But we had, it was it was nice. The only problem I had at all with that hotel was one trip uh, on our honeymoon. They put us right next to the elevators. Mm -hmm. and that elevator went in that room shook. Oh. I went down and they moved us. Oh, like, did they? We're not did spending they? a whole week here, you know, shaking every time that <laughs> elevator goes up and down. You, it <clears> might <throat> make you think that one of the volcanoes is going on. Yeah, off. you yeah. never know. You, that would be the thing, you know, to get a hotel room with a view of Diamond Head or Waikiki, which you had to be up pretty high down on that end of the Waikiki to... So all, so all of the lobbies are wide open? Yeah, you don't have doors. You just have an open area. You walk right in. And the lobby's inside, but you don't have doors protecting. Mm -hmm. So it's always open to the outside. So it, uh, it doesn't get locked overnight or no, anything no. then? Got to mm -hmm. know some of the doormen at the one hotel. and One was going to go spearfishing with me, but we never ended up getting to go after a few oh. trips. So. He wanted to take me and show me how the Hawaiian spearfish, because mm -hmm. he knew I was taking scuba diving. Because mm -hmm. every morning I'd sit out there and wait for the dive van to come pick me up. And so that you could <coughs> go scuba diving. Okay, um, uh, you've got some pictures of Waikiki Beach. Yeah, somewhere I got some here. Um, it's a protected beach, but first um, we're out of order. But this is a bus that. You get around on number 20, um, mm -hmm. number 8, I think, was popular. Police just drive around in little scooters. Oh, oh and, so um, that's what a police vehicle looks like. The buses, like. a lot of times, start at the Alamo on a shopping center, and they go up to uh, the park by the zoo, and that's the turnaround point. And the bus, they get up there, the driver gets his break, because some of the buses are doubles, mm -hmm. if you've seen the two buses connected. Oh. And they're so busy that like we were going to the Pro Bowl, Chris and I were, and um, you know how you got the little money collecting box on a bus? Mm -hmm. The money was all over the floor. It was, oh, was just it? overflowing. You were walking <laughs> over it and everything. I mean, there was nowhere. They just let it go, just put it on the floor. and So somebody had to clean all that up at the end. But, you know, it was nice if you could get a seat on it. But I dragged Chris the one time to the Pro Bowl, 11 miles holding him in my arm, and he's just about two. Mm -hmm. Nobody gives up their seats. Nobody, oh, no. no. So, but the bus is the only way to go over in Hawaii. Okay. <clears throat> um. I'm, I'm not sure. Oh, here's some more pictures of Waikiki Beach. This was the first trip. These were bikes you could rent, drive out in the water. 
Oh, you really? You got Diamond Head Volcano in the background. Um, here they'll do boogie boards, like body surfing. Uh -huh. You don't have the waves to do the stand. Some will stand uh -huh. up, but you go up to the North Shore and um, the waves are like 30 feet. And you've probably seen them on TV where uh, you can't believe they're surfing and surviving. This is the protected area of Waikiki Beach. Um, this is uh, about oh, a little over a year after I lost my wedding ring there. Oh. This is Chris and I. Oh, that's you and Chris. Chris didn't mind the water. He liked to play in the water, but if you sat him down and a wave hit him, it was like, <laughs> it's like, <laughs> so this is Chris and me. It's my took the picture. And, uh, one thing I would not recommend on the beaches is using the drinking fountains. I did see a Japanese giving a little kid a shower in a drinking fountain. Oh, was that right? So it's like no more drinking fountains. Surfing <laughs> is real popular there. You can rent surfboards. Um, I've never tried surfing. Um, I don't think I could stand up on one. Plus, I can't swim that good. Mm -hmm. And for scuba diving, you're safe. you got your air tanks. And, mm -hmm. But for scuba diving, this is just a fisherman off Waikiki Beach. Mm -hmm. Really got He looks sun. sunburned. Yeah. He was an older Hawaiian guy, just there fishing. I think that's the Waikiki Beach pictures. Was that all of them then? Yeah, I think the next yeah. one's. The next one's about Diamond Head? Diamond Head's the volcano again. I didn't bring the too many pictures of it, but if you look down in there, you can see buildings. And this year, as they say, it was uh, real dry the first year I flew in there, so it's no green on it, but usually I guess it'll be green with vegetation. Mm -hmm. And it's only a few minutes from Waikiki Beach. Mm -hmm. You can walk there. Uh, flew around in a helicopter one time, which was pretty pretty cool. So your Waikiki Beach is a special area, and if you go west of Waikiki Beach is Honolulu. I think a lot of people, the first time you go to Oahu, think that is Honolulu, but Honolulu is just a city in Oahu. And Honolulu is going to have your, well, it's got Chinatown, and mm -hmm. you'll see uh, the palace they use for Hawaii Five-O. Oh, okay. They use it for their headquarters, and I don't know. Is that it on that, Chris? Yeah, I think that's it on Diamond Head. <clears throat> okay. Um what 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 <coughs> sh what should people see on their first trip? Well, I know one thing people are going to want to go to. I don't. Let's see. Do I have pictures of this? Uh, You've got I'm Pearl Harbor. Okay, one, yeah. Two, let's three, go to Pearl four. Harbor. I think we talked about it. My dad at Pearl Harbor. Oh, that's your dad. Yeah, it was I think one of the ships in the background. This is where it all happened, right here. Uh huh. Where the Japanese sunk our ships. Uh huh. So I. Got my dad there the first time, and not sure what else we got. Okay, this is just one of the big uh, aircraft carriers that was parked at Pearl. Mm -hmm. I have two different pictures of it. Uh, one year I was there, one of the aircraft carriers came in and hit a coral bottom and lost a lot of jet fuel in oh. there, and I think it shut the harbor down for a while. But these are just big, big mega ships, and I c couldn't find my picture. Um, it's like. 30 telephone booths in a row. So when one of these ships comes in, everybody would be able to call home. Oh, oh. So the telephone booths in a row was sort of funny, but I couldn't find a picture. Um, uh -huh. I don't know what the last one Chris just showed was. I think it was the Bowfin uh -huh. submarine, Chris. I guess. Yeah, this is an old Navy submarine. I think it's oh. called the Bowfin. Um, I did get on it. It just sits there. It doesn't go out anymore, but uh, we've talked before about the round world's uh, claustrophobia. Yeah, yeah. You just got little round compartments to go through this. Oh, yeah, no more. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I did it that I, time, but it's just, <laughs> just that weird feeling. You know, I like a door, but when you just, <laughs> it's, I don't know how people can actually go down in one of them and not go crazy. I know. I, I've, I wondered, know if a, I've wondered about or, that myself. Uh, I mean, <coughs> I'd have to be heavily sedated, yes, I uh, think. So uh, Pearl Harbor is uh, one of your things you want to see. Um, go to a hula show, uh, that Kodak hula show, if it's still there. Up on, I've never been to it up on um, the east coast of the island. Is 
the Polynesian Culture Center. Mm -hmm. Now this is a big, it's supposed to be Royal Hawaiians, and the um, reason I say that is because I was at another place on the North Shore and driving up to it where they do uh, cliff diving. Mm -hmm. There were signs, protest signs everywhere. They don't use real Hawaiians and on and on and on, but uh, the Polynesian Culture Center, they, they climb the trees like monkeys to get mm -hmm. coconuts, and they have the pig roast. Uh, pigs are popular over there. Um, not me. I just can't stand eating an animal that's looking at you. <laughs> right, uh, right. It's just, so they sell a lot of pigs. Another thing I heard on the Hawaii a lot was roosters. Roosters? Roosters. All, everywhere you went. <laughs> I have no idea why they have so many roosters over there. Well, there, there must have been plenty of hens uh, yeah. if, if there were That's lots of here. roosters. I mean, right in Waikiki and everywhere, it's just roosters. <laughs> so, okay. Uh, okay. Uh, did we see all four of the Pearl Harbor ones? I think so, yeah. Cause uh -huh. was okay. The beach. The ocean there. Um, Got one picture. Just this is up on the west coast of the island. I uh -huh. think it's by that Sea Life Park. Sea Life Park. Um, I think somewhere here I have some pictures of it. But uh, we'll come back to that. But it's just pretty. The flowers. The flowers and the are ocean. Really pretty. When you're at the park and watching the show, and the ocean's like right across the street. It's it's pretty interesting. So that's uh, yeah. If you've never been in the ocean. Um, it's pretty calm there. It's really warm, but the visibility, I talked to divers around here, they can, lucky if they can see their hand, mm -hmm. you can see 100 feet or more. Mm -hmm. So it's like, you want to see what's on the bottom, you can just about see, oh geez. Okay, so, what do you wear when uh, you're visiting Hawaii? Something to look really stupid. <laughs> <laughs> This is, was, is that uh, a pair of swimming trunks you oh, were yeah, wearing? Oh yeah, I bought the Hawaiian clothes. I walked around the beach looking like an idiot. And, <laughs> um, so that's Randy himself. This is me uh, 30 <laughs> some odd years ago. I had to lay, I think my dad shot the picture for me, but, and you know, this the trunks fit me up to a polar bear swim a few years ago in Mayville. Mm -hmm. And the shirt, of course, was like, <laughs> really tight. <laughs> I couldn't button it anymore. I used that in two stunts here, the polar bear swim, and I used it trying to win a trip to Florida on a Jamestown oh. radio station, oh. walking up through town in February. Sort of like this, but I had a noodle around my neck. I had the mask on, like for snorkeling, and I had the floppers uh -huh. on. I'm walking in February up through <laughs> Jamestown, where the ice arena is, trying to oh. win a trip on this <laughs> radio station. <laughs> I didn't win because you had to call in. And they must have only had like one phone a few days later. Nobody could get through to it. But it was to go to Florida and win some donuts. Mm hmm. So, now, uh, but you've. Uh, do you have any pictures of when you went scuba diving? Scuba diving, yeah. <laughs> now, the problem with scuba diving, you buy the camera, you run a camera over there, just a little portable one. Mm -hmm. They'll run it to you. Your pictures are going to be blue. They're all going to be diamondy because the flash will go off mm -hmm. and it hits the water and makes diamonds. It, it, ter it's terrible. Mm -hmm. You go down over 30 feet and the shutter self just goes down and won't release. Um. People are like, why didn't it work? This is, I think, J.D. Sailor from uh, South Seas Aquatics oh. playing with an octopus. Oh, gosh. They would go down with the, you know, the dive shop and people. They went down and they... Their job is to find stuff like that and play with it, you know. Um, octopuses, uh, are they one of the um, poisonous? No. They're not poisonous? This one will ink. Ink is like black stuff that comes out of it. Uh -huh. And for some reason I found out people eat squid ink. I've been really? selling it at work. Yeah, it's like oh a pasta. And, um, but the octopus is, see this has a flash on a camera. I Otherwise the octopus would look really... I always thought octopuses were a lot bigger than them. Well, they are, but th they have small ones. Mm -hmm. there, it depends on the variety, yeah. or, or is it the age? Of, I don't of, know, but this this guy was small, but we're, they're always looking for shark scuba diving. I did bring the one picture of a sand shark, but mm -hmm. he didn't bother you. But um, they look for sharks. I've seen whales jumping. That's 
That's awesome. Mm -hmm. It's been come back. It's just stop your boat away. Not allowed near them. You have to keep a distance or it's illegal. So you have to leave them alone. But, you know, if you see them jumping, you can watch. Mm -hmm. This is one of the guys doing Hang Loose Hawaii. He puts two fingers up like this. Mm -hmm. And there's just one of the people diving with me. And mm -hmm. that's a big thing over there. You got to Hang Loose Hawaii. And you run on Hawaiian time. Like, when we get there, that's Hawaiian time, you know. We'll be there when we get there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, this is an airplane. This was actually sank about, I don't know how many feet of water, probably 50, 60 feet down for you to just go down and dive on. You think stuff like that would pollute the ocean, mm -hmm. but the fish love them. Oh, do they? Oh, man, anything that's on the bottom of the fish, you'll hear they'll throw streetcars in them and everything in, and the fish just inhabit them, the coral. Uh huh. So this is an uh, airplane. And so, so this is an airplane that they uh, sank, that, yeah. that crashed or No, something? it was just an old one. I think they sank. Uh -huh. But I did uh, pull uh -huh. up bullets from World War II, mm -hmm. about that big, in um, a place called Ammo Reef where mm -hmm. they'd practice. And you got your down real low, and you could see them, and you were actually able to keep them. Well, uh, somebody had pulled up this mortar, and they told him on the boat, hey, you better throw that back in because you don't know what will happen when that thing dries out. So they took it, they whipped it out, and we are like, boom! <laughs> oh, gosh. It blew up? <laughs> no, but it could have. <laughs> yeah. So that was a place where we were getting mm -hmm. bullets from World War II. Oh, there's a few more. Huh? There's the octopus and some of the tropical fish. The yellow ones, <coughs> they are, uh, you'll go down. And they'll bounce off your mask. Oh. If you know what a snorkel mask is or dive mask. Yeah. They'll just bounce off it. Oh. But um, usually you'll take some kind of food down and feed them. Um, found out bagels do not work well. Oh, don't they? Because they disintegrate. So oh. uh, the dive shop gives you frozen peas. Uh, oh, frozen, frozen peas. Frozen peas. Official love frozen peas. Hmm. So, you, so they don't disintegrate under the water and you feed them. And now what is that on the bottom left? That's another octopus shot. Oh, that's, that's, an same that's an octopus. Yeah, okay. it's the same shot as the other top one. Oh, okay. Just a different angle. Uh-huh. And you can see the colorful fish. And do those fish have specific names? <laughs> to me, they're fish. Yeah, they do, but I, <laughs> I don't know my Hawaiian fish. You can buy the chart, and I probably bought one, you know, mm -hmm. with, to take diving with me, because mm -hmm. the dive shop will sell you anything. You take mm -hmm. it down and try to figure out what fish they are, but it's if I have it still, it's in storage somewhere. So, but scuba diving was my number one. And it was that kind of a boat, boat you'd go on. That was of. like my first, I think my first dive boat, or one just like it. It's a, huh. They took us out, several of us. Uh, it was the first day going in the ocean after, I hadn't even been certified yet. It was my second day. Mm -hmm. The first day we spent the day in the pool at the owner's house mm -hmm. of the dive shop overlooking Pearl Harbor. Mm -hmm. And on the second day they take out, I know some Japanese come up and they, shark, shark, <laughs> but <laughs> they just saw fish. But that's where I took the bagel. They give me a bagel and you held it out like that and the fish are <laughs> just <laughs> chewing off it. And okay, um, now uh, <clears throat> there's something about uh, an Aloha Stadium okay, Aloha. and Big Swap Me. Yeah, Aloha Stadium's uh, Anybody that's ever seen the NFL Pro Bowl, mm -hmm. it's held here. But on weekends, they, I think it's weekends or during the week, they um, have a big swap meet that goes around the stadium a couple times out in the parking lot. Mm -hmm. And that's where you can buy just about any Hawaiian thing you want. Mm -hmm. Macadamia nuts mm, and yeah. uh, Hawaiian shirts and everything. Uh, you really got to watch the Hawaiian shirts, though, because one wash... Big shirt could be a little shirt. Oh, <laughs> they oh, shrink yeah. really. They're yeah. cotton, I think, and they, they shrink real bad. But I did get to the 1993 uh, Pro Bowl with Chris. Just the trip before he turned two, mm -hmm. I took him over there by myself, and it was it was interesting. <laughs> so, but that must have been hard going with a by yourself with a two year old. Oh yeah, because I I had free tickets that got me to California, but I had to fly. Buffalo to JFK in New York City, four-hour layover. Coming into JFK, Chris is looking out the window at school buses. 
as we're coming into land. Mm -hmm. We land, he, uh oh. Me, the plane, him, and everything. Uh oh. And we spent four hours in New York, and then we went to Los Angeles. <coughs> I'm sorry, on the second flight, we spent four hours there. <coughs> we finally got into Hawaii. Uh, I don't know how many hours we've been gone, you know. And he'd done good. Well, he gets in a van from the airport to the hotel. It's 11 miles. And he starts screaming. It's not his grandmother's van or something. He's just crying. I'm like, all oh, these people just flew eight hours, Chris. You know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Finally got him there. I thought we were going to have to get off and walk to the hotel. <laughs> you but, thought you'd get <clears throat> thrown off then? <laughs> but once we got to the hotel, he did good. We we went over all over. You know, I'd get him McDonald's, and he we taught him McDonald's sign. And one time we were at a mall, him and I, and. He sees a sign, this little sign that McDonald's is down there. And I always told him, you know, McDonald's, E-I-E-I-O. All of a sudden, he's E-I-E-I-O, E-I-E-I-O. Oh, oh, oh. oh, there it is. <laughs> so we went to McDonald's. and uh, Yeah, I took him. I had some friends there. We went to their house. They were at Hickam Air Force Base. And uh, he had a chicken wing, and he wasn't even two yet. He started choking on it, and I'm panicking. And, oh, gosh. But we... The reason his mother didn't go on that trip was because she was getting pretty ready to pop out just in there. Oh, in a couple oh months, I see. And she um, didn't want to go. So, uh, recommend some things that are unusual that people can <coughs> do if they visit Florida. Well, in Hawaii, um, Hanama Bay, it's got snorkeling. Um, I don't have the picture yet, but snorkeling is where you. Don't go on. You just sort of swim in the water with your face in. Oh, okay. You got the snorkel to breathe out of it. You can just mm -hmm. go around with the fish. And, mm -hmm. um, it's, uh, that's what I did that the first time I went to Hawaii, and that's why I had to learn to scuba dive. So mm -hmm. the second trip back, I learned to scuba dive. Mm -hmm. and, but it's, it, it's just great because you just, just got to watch for sunburn because your back's out of the water. Oh, yeah, yeah. You're just floating around this place called Hanama Bay. With the, they got big fish. and. You feed them, even though now it's they've gotten real, where you have to like almost buy feed from them instead of giving them bread, mm -hmm. and because it's too many people. But Hanama Bay is somewhere in there, I hope. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. um, and swimming. You, you can go on uh, dinner cruises and ca and catch a sunset. Oh yeah, dinner cruises. Um, we got some pictures here. Uh, dinner cruises. I think uh, the first one's going to be a sunset. You got a guy surfing. You got one of the dinner cruise boats out there waiting for the sunset. They take them out so they can see the sunset, but they have Hawaiian music on them, and um, they give them a big Hawaiian dinner. There's a lot of them that go out. All day long, you'll be on the streets, and they'll be trying to sell you a dinner cruise. I never did get on one, but the sunsets are awesome there. I mean, I just, that was a ball. With digital camera, I would have probably took a thousand pictures a night. Mm -hmm. This is a trolley that would give me a tour. I didn't ride it, but it takes you on a tour around Waikiki. Um, I've seen them in the Hawaii Five O movies. Mm -hmm. Of course, they're, they're like blowing them up or something. But yeah, I wonder if they still have them in Hawaii. I think so because I've seen the most recent Hawaii Five Os, and they use them in palm trees with the sunset. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Uh, mm -hmm. This one is just another. It's the beach, some people on it, and then the dinner cruise is out there. But uh, the sunsets just, they're worth, you know, getting down there every night and uh, yeah, and seeing them. Um, so I would take, like, Sea Life Park. Oh, yeah. There's we were a couple We're talking about that, yeah. That you've got uh, you got the ocean oh gosh, and you got uh, one of the parts of the land back there, but... They have a dolphin show, uh, they have an old boat there, and they have different shows that go on. <clears throat> they also have like a little whaling museum, mm -hmm. which I, back at the time I didn't really care too much about that. I sort of liked the show, you know, you sit mm -hmm. there and they do their tricks. Oh, sure. This is, a, I think, a girl feeding them, jumping way up in the air and she's feeding oh. them. Oh. So it's like. I don't even know you anymore. I mean, they're getting really to the point now where, like, look at SeaWorld, no more uh, whales and stuff. That mm -hmm. They're just cutting down on animal shows. It's sad. 
I know they probably treated him, you know, maybe badly to get him to do stuff, but mm -hmm. the shows were excellent, you know. Mm -hmm. um, okay, some other things. Why Amir Park Falls is... Have you ever seen, yeah. like, Hawaii, they show the cliff diving? Uh -huh. I think a lot of that's done there. Um, they put on a show. It's not it's 20 feet to the water, maybe. I don't mm -hmm. think it's much more, but that's a place you went all the way up to the top of the island, and then you went up inside the island a little, and um, that's where they said they didn't use real Hawaiians. and It was some kind of a protest, but that would be up on the north shore of Hawaii, which... I haven't really got down here, but the North Shore um, is where you're going to see the big surfing contest with the massive waves, eh? Mm -hmm. It's up there, I think, once. Uh, you're going to go around the island, and there's a section of the island you can't actually go around. Mm -hmm. It's beach, because in the wintertime, it's the big waves. So you have to detour back through the pineapple fields, roads down, mm -hmm. a, and then way back up the other side to get to uh, mm -hmm. Y&A mm -hmm. and... Macaha and stuff. Mm -hmm. I, I just wanted to say something to okay. to Chris in the other room real quick. Um, we've only got a little about a little over eleven minutes left, so I think <coughs> uh, if we don't finish everything uh, that your dad's got uh, uh, by the end, uh, I think I want to run over a few minutes so we can finish up. Hope that's okay with him. <laughs> <laughs> we should be. Okay, should now be um, you've got uh, there's some uh, there's something about a glider ride. North Shore of Oahu, uh, going back towards the mm -hmm. west is um, Mr. Bill's glider rides. It's mm -hmm. at Dillingham Air uh, Field, which used to be an Air Force Base mm -hmm. runway, and they take you up, and you just. You can actually, you're allowed to take the controls of it once you're up there. I've done it two or three times. One time we uh, took off and we threw, they were burning uh, sugar cane fields. Oh. I think they burn it after the season or oh, something. Oh, do they really? And I we were trying to get that. a lift from the smoke, so we kept driving through, flying through there. But you just go back and forth through the mountains. But you would think, you know, well, things will come down easy, but they have to really pull the get the thing to go down to the ground to land it. Oh. And you take off and you head down towards the ocean and circle and land. But mm -hmm. the guy that ran him, Mr. Bill, uh, mm -hmm. he had been to Jamestown before to the Winter Garden. Oh, so, had he yeah, really? He'd been there. Uh, the captain of our dive boat, Dave Pike, I think it was, was from Warren. Oh, and he really? he was talking the international thing in Jamestown, the Bullfrog Hotel. Oh, really? You know where the Bullfrog is? Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> we used to go there. <laughs> yeah, I worked right down by it and I've never been in it but I've I've heard stories about the bullfrog. Oh yeah I've never been there um, they buy um, food from us they're good people. Uh, um, now what about this Fern <laughs> Grotto? Okay Fern Grotto is actually on um, the island of Kauai. Oh that is beautiful that this scenery is, is beautiful. Um, I did a one day island hopping tour uh -huh. which I was sick the whole day until finally I <laughs> used one of them little distress bags oh. when coming into Kauai. But Fern Grotto, they take you, you get on a boat ride, and you go a mile or two up and towards the mountain. Oh. And they do some Hawaiian music. A lot of people get married there. Oh. I think they have a second shot of it. And I think There's it, one, too. Oh, here it is. Yeah. There's some Hawaiian music. and uh -huh. It's just really neat. It's all ferns. and Oh, yeah. You can walk up and around there. But... The mountain, it rains at the top of the mountain. They get over 300 inches of rain a year. The bottom, it don't rain hardly ever. So. Oh. But Kauai is an island that, um, it's like the Grand Canyon of the Pacific because one side of it looks like the Grand Canyon. Um, they've used it for a lot of movies. I think Jurassic Park and stuff. Uh, I think somewhere I heard Puff the Magic Dragon had something to do with that island. Really? Um, they had a Puff big the hurt. Magic Dragon. I think so. Uh, Oh, there was a, um, after that song came out, there was a cartoon pro special on television once. Huh? I remember when my son was a little, little boy, we, we watched it, and there was, it, yeah, there was something about Puff the Magic, yeah. Magic Dragon. There was something to do with, I think, part of that. I get my places I've been to mixed up, but, um, on the island happened, um, 
We started out in Honolulu with seven airplanes. My guy, my captain's a guy with a sort of the white shirt on. Oh, the I guy's see. got his hand on. And we went to the different islands playing follow the leader. Oh. And there was something. Those planes have got to be about the same size as these commuters up at Jamestown now. Oh, Nine yeah. passenger, I think. And it was like every time they would come to land, they would get real hot. But we went to Maui, had dinner in a golf course on Maui. This is us playing follow the leader. You had to keep an eye out for each other. Oh, yeah. And then from Maui, I think we flew over the big island over uh, Kilauea, the volcano. Mm -hmm. Kilauea. Mm -hmm. And um, to the different islands. And we crossed over Oahu up to uh, Kauai and went around Kauai and landed. Mm -hmm. Went to Fern Grotto and then back to Honolulu. Mm -hmm. And you have some pictures yeah, of if, movies that were taken in Hawaii? Uh, everybody knows William Shatner. Yeah. William Shatner, Captain Kirk. Well, there's Captain Kirk there. He was uh, doing a two-hour TV show called uh, T.J. Hooker. was one of his shows he had uh -huh. on where he was a cop. And they had to go protect a politician in Hawaii. Oh. And um, I just got back from diving one day, and I'm walking up in Waikiki, and there's all these movie truck trailers, parks, so I had to get my nose into it. But they have, like, a crowd of people, and the crowd... Cops have to keep moving the crowd this way, that mm -hmm. way, so they can film. But That's a good picture of him. Yeah, there was another yeah. guy that was like in it, too, that looked just like him. And at first I thought it was him. These are just some of the extras uh -huh. they have doing, like, walking in the show. And uh -huh. just, you know, you got to have your girls and stuff. And, oh, sure. You know, and the pictures in Hawaii or people wouldn't be happy. So right. that one and uh, this one here is some of the girls that were just in the movie, I think. Somewhere they played frisbee, and mm -hmm. but it takes all day to film one little thing. It lasts a few seconds on the screen. Yeah, so. yeah, it's a lot of work, I <laughs> guess. And they have uh, pineapple fields. Yeah, there. pineapples are weird. I always thought they grew on coconut trees, but they grow coconut on the ground. Trees. <laughs> nice thing about picking them, there's no snakes in Hawaii, and they just got big long conveyor belts, and it goes over this way, and you cut them and put them on the conveyor belt, and they have like the pineapple factories mm -hmm. there. And I love fresh pineapple. I, it's I had enough pineapple my first trip <laughs> on a plane. Everywhere I went was pineapple. It's like, no more pineapple. Well, maybe if you had to eat them all the time. <laughs> it's really. Um, now, what about shopping? Shopping, uh, it's like everywhere else. I, they even got Walmarts now. Oh, do I they? I did a lot of my shopping yeah. at Woolworths. Back then, the Woolworths at the mall and one downtown. And that's uh, my dad's favorite place to eat. Remember Woolworths in the mall? I had remember the that. House? You, I remember that at the mall in Lakewood. Yeah. You could go there and eat, get, get something my dad, to eat. Uh, yeah. All he wanted was a menu from there for his souvenir. My mom, when she was there, she worked at the Jamestown Y. I had to go to the YMCA and pick her up a shirt that said Honolulu YMCA oh, on gosh. it. But, um, I took the family there. Uh, now you've got some pictures of your family, yeah, apparently. These, maybe we already showed these. I'm not sure. Nope. No. This no. is Chris and getting a ride in the airport in a luggage cart with his mother. Uh, oh, that's his mom. Yep. Okay. And uh, the next one is Chris looking out the window at, at the airport. I think mm. that might have been in St. Louis. Oh. Looking at the airplanes. <laughs> you can see how little he was. He was yeah. only about one then. Oh. And the plane on the left is our 747. And the two pictures on the right are Chris and me on a 747 as Matt took them. Uh -huh. Chris spent eight-hour flight running around the plane with a drunk lady chasing him one way, Japanese chasing him the other. And 747 so big, I lost him once. I went over on okay. the other side in the back, and he was sitting on a stewardess's lap having a ball. <laughs> so, uh, I'll bet they loved it. He was just starting to learn to walk, and he yeah. had a ball on the yeah, plane. Yeah, yeah. And the 747, what's really weird about that is... Uh, TWA had that Flight 800 that exploded over oh. New York City. And I, oh, how awful. I think about that a lot. You know, what if Chris would have been running there and all of a sudden the plane just boom? Ew. You think about that. It's sad. Yeah. But now, you attended a Thanksgiving parade. Yeah, it's called the Aloha Day and Parade. And lost your wedding ring. The Aloha Day Parade. I hit Chris at the time, and um, they film it in September. I don't have any pictures of oh, this, okay. but you don't step off the curb. Well, how did you manage to lose your well, wedding I, ring? That was on our honeymoon. 
I was in the it. ocean five minutes. You didn't have it very long. My, you didn't have it, have it very and long, did it. you? And it was so clear there, and I could not find it. Oh. So I had to buy a new one. Well, I, I think they didn't cost as much back then uh, as they do now. Mine didn't. Hers did, but mm -hmm. mine was cheap. Arriving from Japan. Oh, yeah. I had uh, memories. Yeah, coming in over Pearl Harbor with a Japanese pilot. I was thinking, I wonder if he's any relation to kamikaze pilots. Oh. But it was an excellent airline. These sport airlines are just fantastic. And this is uh, mm -hmm. my plane right here. Mm -hmm. <coughs> and, oh, uh, yeah. Probably the last thing. Uh, the last thing on you, something about don't forget gifts. Yeah, you got to buy people at home gifts. I was shopping for earrings every time I went there. This is my niece. Oh, your We had to buy her an, uh, a dress. dress. And um, this was a long time ago, I think. Now that would be your brother's daughter? This would be my sister's uh, daughter. Oh, did you have more than one sister then? Yeah. Oh, okay. And I just, I ended up buying stuff. Always buying earrings for my mom and my sister, uh -huh. uh, Chris's mom. So, uh -huh. so I'm um, not sure how much time we have left. A minute and 32 oh, seconds. You've got a poem you yes. want to read. This poem, uh, my, I was so into Hawaii for a long time. I woke up one night after dreaming this and wrote it down. The last few lines might not be exactly what I dreamt, but I tried to enter it in a poetry contest, but... There's a place I like to go when at home it begins to snow. This place is very far, but you can't get there by a car. When you get there, you will need a magic potion. This is known as suntan lotion. You can't get there by a train. The only way is ship or plane. You can eat coconut. You can stay in a hut. The sunset is like the 4th of July, where everyone comes to see the sun fall from the sky. And as the sun sinks and sizzles in the sea, this place is known as Hawaii. I wrote this. <laughs> what about that, first? that is amazing that something like that came to you in oh, a dream. Oh, it did. Dream, I got up you know. and I wrote it and I sent it to a poetry contest before I ever heard of the internet. Well, finally I get the internet and I found this poetry contest and I typed in my name and I found the poem. And then I started typing these really mm -hmm. wacky poems and... Uh, it turned out to be a scam. I mean, they were just trying to sell you a book. A poetry book, yeah. yeah. Like they they do that bucks. with uh, they do that with recipe yeah. books also. That's yeah. Like. Um, so, anyways, uh, of course uh, they approve of your um, uh, recipe because they want you to buy the book. Yeah, of course. So. <laughs> but I read some of the poems they did after that. It's like, oh my gosh, it sounded good when I wrote them, and how stupid they are. I did oh, well. one about snow, and it's like, you get to Florida, you're away from the snow. No, wait, there you're at the airport. You look at TV, and what do you see? Snow on TV. Oh, yeah, so yeah. Like, I got crazy with that for a while, but then I just, <laughs> not too many people read them. <laughs> well, we managed to just go over just a teeny tiny little bit oh, here, so no, that Chris wasn't too bad. Slap me now. But, um, <laughs> but we... I guess we're going to have to bring the program to a close now, um, uh, and I'll see all of you viewers with a new episode in a couple of weeks. 